Hey, what's up, baby? Fine, Super Time 12 here, bringing you back another episode of Naruto Shapuden, also in the strong for Beginner to Master. If you don't know what Beginner to Master tutorial is, I'll explain to you right now. A Beginner to Master tutorial is basically where I just choose one character out of the whole roster, and I just tell you everything I know about that character. Now, how I usually pick my characters is based on my subscribers. So basically, if you want to see your character, all you gotta do is just go down the comments below and type in the character you want to see for the next episode, and I will do it. So for this episode we got today is Jugo. So this was actually a requested character, kind of low tier, and personally, Jugo is one of my favorite characters in the anime. Not in this game, but in the anime. So I'm gonna teach you guys everything I know about Jugo and how to get better with him. So, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more beginner match tutorials. But, without further ado, let's get started! Alright everybody, alright, so let's get started. Alright, so, there are usually four categories I like to categorize characters in. Attack, Defense, Technical, and Speed. And right now, Jugo is an attack character all the way. So basically, attack characters are the ones that do the most damage, are kind of slow, but have amazing guard break skills. So, like Hashirama, Madara, uh, who else? Naruto, definitely Naruto, Rock Lee. All of those characters are attack type characters. So for the, for those for to use attack type characters, you have it basically just break guard and just pressure your opponents into. You know, breaking the guard and then doing a whole bunch of damage to them. They just, they're damage dealers, basically, like tanks, but they're slow. And so is Jugo. So, <clears throat> let's get started. So, first, we're going to start off with just the record combo. So, let's just look at the neutral combo. Alright, so this is indeed the fastest combo in this thing. So, it only took about, let me see, one, two, Around three seconds just to do that whole combo. So this is an extremely fast combo for Jugo. And it does good damage. Like it does modern damage. Like a regular combo. Like a regular freaking combo. <laughs> so this is really good damage. Really quick. So if you want to get some really good damage off really quick. And the chance of a strike back. I suggest you have the neutral combo. Or uh, let me let me put all my things on. Perfect. Alright, there we go. So let's go to down combo. Okay, I gotta say that this combo looks the coolest out of all his combos, but also this does more damage than the neutral combo. So the neutral combo is the fastest in his arsenal, the down combo does the most damage. So let me show you one more time. Boom. Yes. So that, yeah, that does almost half a bar. So if you want to get some real good damage off, do the down combo, you want to get a fast combo off, plus try it back, do the neutral combo. Room. Wow, look, look how much damage I did. Wow. Now that was Wish right back though. That was Wish right back. So, um, let's go with the up combo. Alright, so the up combo is just I don't really like the top of the up combo personally, but there's nothing really special about the up combo that I saw when I was practicing with the Jugo a little er earlier. So there's nothing really I can tell you about the Jugo up up the Jugo up combo besides it's flashy. But also, let me give you one more tip about the down combo. When he grabs you, or right there, when he grabs you, they can't sub. So at that point, the combo is basically over. So when, so once when you get past to that grab, they can't sub, and that's when the combo actually ends and goes into the cutscene. So that's just that's just something to keep in mind. When he grabs you, they can't sub at all. So basically, you at that point. You can just do your combo at that point once once he grabs you in the air like that. Right there. Shatter up pause. <laughs> Plus it looks cool. Alright, so now we're gonna go on to his tilt and his grab. So his tilt is basically he just gets jet boosters and just goes charging with the opponents. And it goes into a shred back. That's something I did not know. It goes to a shred back. And let's look at his grab. His grab is one of my favorites in this game. One of my favorites. So let's go. Let's go with the grab first. So his grab is he just pulls out an extendo arm. You see that range right there? You see that? That could actually read Saga if I was angled. Present angle. Ooh, look at that. Let's go a little bit more. 
Oh, a little, uh, a little more. Right there. You see that range? Do you guys see that range? That is crazy, ridiculous range right there. But so that's Jugo's special ability. He has this extendo arm that reaches freaking longer than Gara's throw, longer than Martyr's throw, and that's saying something. This is probably the longest throw in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Is it the longest throw in the game? I think so. Sasuke doesn't have good throws. Naruto. Yeah, I think this is probably the longest throw in the game. It is, it is moderately fast with low cast time too, so always just use this throw. Like, there's no way to cancel into this throw, except just doing it. I mean, you should have no problem with getting this throw. <laughs> so just always keep this in mind, because this throw is actually very useful. Alright, so, let's go into this tilt. So his tilt is actually a close range tilt, or as I like to call a combo tilt. So basically, how I like to use this tilt is that if you block, wait for them to chakra dash into your block and immediately go into the tilt. Now, the part about it being a strike back is what I didn't know. I didn't know that this tilt actually went to a strike back. And that's actually, that's that's pretty insane actually because you can do something like this. Strike back them out. And then freaking just, oh, okay, you can't do that. Okay, I thought you could. Never mind. Forget that. Let's scratch that. All right. So basically, but still though, you can cancel into a stripe, but that's that's just a little bit more damage off. But basically, I use this the same way I just told you. Basically, you just block. Then immediately, immediately after they chakra dash into your guard, go straight up into the tilt, press them back, get a stripe back off, and then do another combo like that. That's how I would use it because it's a close range tilt, and that's a close range tilt. Close range tilts can usually cancel into. Alright, so now we're gonna go into his jutsu. Oh no no, I forgot about his air combo. Forgot I always forget the air combo. His air combo is actually pretty good. It, it, it can follow up with a you know a regular air combo. It's got a big hitbox for some reason. I don't know why that is. It has this gigantic hitbox. It's just I have no reason like you can hit it from all the way across not across the map, but you have like yeah. It's a gigantic hitbox. I never realized that. But also, his air combo is a little slow. Like, you can't really cancel it like the Tachis. So, that's just something to keep in mind. He doesn't have the best air combo to cancel, but it does... It's, it's slow, but it's a big hitbox. It's like Hashirama's fist. That's really big hitbox. So, just keep in mind that he doesn't have that air combo. Alright, so let's go into his Jutsu and open Jutsu cancel. So, his Jutsu is... What is this? Uh, Living Wall Fist Style 1. Right, that's a weird name right there but this is moderate damage if you can land it off wow that's probably like the damage of a neutral combo right there wow okay well let me let me see how much damage it does to the guard let me see let me see so if you just do this wow it, it does look okay it does a lot of chick damage actually and it does amazing damage to the guard like three of these punches can break in, break her guard. Yeah, it brings her right into the yellow. Yeah, three of these punches can break guard. Wow. So this is like, um, I want I want to put this as like one of Choji's Choji's uh special attacks where he grinds and breaks the guard. This is this is a juicy meant for breaking guard. So let me. So I think it's the same as supports as well. Yeah, yeah. If you use that supports, it does the same thing. Yes, it does. If you if you get this off three times, you will break guard. Or right. one more time. There we go. So if you do it three times, you will break guard, and it does very good damage. Now let me see if I can cancel into my combos. I don't think you can. Yeah, you can. You you can't cancel the combo, Sally. So your combo is just a yellow thing. You got, you got, if you want to get some, you think you can get some good damage off, you can. Bang. But dang, that damage though, like that damage is massive. And actually, if you use your items with it, if you use like the, on the down pad that breaks more guard. Yeah, just one punch man in that girl. Or let me, let me see if I can just, I'm gonna dance to it. Okay, yeah, it still does three, okay. I just wanna make sure, it still does three, even though you use the, the, the pills. Alright, so let's go with the uh, um, ultimate juice to cancel. So his ultimate juice to cancel should be the down combo. And it should cancel on the fourth here, I think. There 
There we go. Yep, that's it. All right, so immediately when he grabs her, you can, you should be able to cancel into it. And because because he grabs her and it like it cancels out the animation, they're like stuck there for a little bit. So it's kind of like a stun lock. Right there. So basically, when when he grabs her in the air, immediately cancel. They're stuck there for a little bit, and it should cancel into his um his music suit. See, look at that. Whoa, it didn't work there. All right, let me try it one more time. Right there. He's like, it, it got, it has to be so quick. It's like right on point. But at that point, you should be able to cancel into it. Which is actually very simple. There we go. Punch and then slam. Bang. Oh, bang. All right, so. The last part of this um, tutorial is basically his awakening. So let me see. Let's go to. Uh, wait, 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 wait. This is the point. Right, here we go. It's awakening, awakening. And we start. Here we go. Then let's awaken. Now, Jugo's awakening is probably the most disappointing thing about Jugo, at least personally, because. I honestly thought he was gonna get the um the full curse mark thing. I honestly thought that. But still this is pretty good. So in this Jugo form, everything changes. It's one of those special awakenings where his moveset changed, the juice changed, tilt changed, everything changes about him. That was making these awakenings actually unique. So let's look at his combo first. He get like rocket boosters for hands. Which is pretty good. So he moves ten times as faster, he's ten times as stronger. His combos, you only get, let me see, this one had one combo, let me see, pulverize, yeah, he only has one combo, which is the neutral combo, so, but you you saw that damage though, right, you get one combo off, that's how much damage it does, that's probably like, a, like, almost half the bar, which is, that, that's crazy, so, Jugo dishes out a lot of damage, and that's just one combo right there, you see his air combo, whoa, his air combo just slams down, he literally just slams down, it, it seems like you have to get distance away from it. Yeah, you have, you have to go distance. And Sara is actually, was she guarding? Is that like a, let me see, um, wait, can, can I do it? Okay, yeah, I was about to say they can guard, all right. So, in this form, Jugo also breaks the guard more easily. So, basically, if they're, if they're guarding, it's not gonna work. It's not, it's, it's really not gonna work because he, he can just bust it as easily. Alright, so his juice is should be the same. Ooh, it's, it polarizes them. It's a nice little effect to it. It does about the same damage as it did um, out of his awakening form. Actually, a little bit lower, actually. But it actually pulverizes um, this thing. And you can't cancel it. So it's basically just a. Ooh, you can combo it. Ooh. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I forgot about that. Because I forgot this is a revolution. So if you use this while they're garling. You can just chain up right into a combo and it should burst it up. Yeah, like just like that. So that's how you use his juice. It does less damage, but it's not supposed to be for damage. It's supposed to be for actually comboing or going into your combo. So like this. Like look up. Like look at that. Look at that. This this man has a lot of power. He has a lot of power. Alright, so the last thing should be is his, uh, his tilt, which should go into a cut soon. Yes, it does, actually! Wow! That's... Wow! It's actually a combo tilt. It's actually very pretty, actually. Get him up, and his guard, his unbreakable attack should be... Yeah, his unbreakable attack is kind of weak. He actually backs up a little bit. <laughs> it's just a little weird. And I think that should be it, right? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Is. So that is the end for Jugo's Awakening. So Jugo is basically a power character. He's, he's a power character for breaking guard and just dealing a whole bunch of damage. So and he's pretty good for um, assists as well. So I thought you a few things how to use them for as many tips as I can. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below if you did enjoy yourself. My name is Eric Twelve. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.